when you're cleaning brake calipers and the wheel is out, the first job you have to do is immobilize a caliper. Bungee cord coming around, pads are apart. This is an Olin's shock wrench. And then we put the brake pressure through to hold this in place. Otherwise your pads will go together or even the pistons themselves can fall out. So job number one, very first thing before you do anything else, immobilize one caliper like this. To clean the caliper thoroughly, you're gonna to need to remove the brake pads. That may be with a pin that has clips in it. That may be a pin that is an Allen that screws into the caliper itself. Or in this case, with our Brembo monoblocks on the Aprilia, we quite simply need to take them out by hand, which is nice. You can take them out with a screwdriver by moving them backwards and forwards. Not good for the actual brake pad itself, so I purchased a tool from Motion Pro that will slide it in between the pads and open them right out. So that makes my life a lot easier. I just simply insert it, hold it still, and without damaging the pads, it goes ahead and moves the pistons all the way out. Then simply unscrew it, put it down, and you can walk the pads out. Very easy way to do a job. There we go. No tools in terms of extraction required. Pad is out, we'll get the next one out. And then we'll begin the disgusting task of cleaning the caliper. Now to clean the caliper, we all have plenty of these that should have been retired quite some time ago. I'll give these a couple of months and then I'll retire them to the brake cleaning farm. So a toothbrush, a coffee cup, good solid soapy water, not weak, get quite a bit of dishwashing soap in there and then you're going to need plenty of rags to hold the caliper while you go ahead and get the toothbrush in and again short bike how clean do you want the calipers to be how clean do you want the piston to be it's up to you spend as long here as you feel comfortable with until they are to your standard spotless and don't be shy get in there This is good therapy too. Now that the initial clean is done inside, because we know the other caliper is already set and that we can't lose the piston and the pads out of that one, I've pumped the brakes a few times so that we can get the pistons to move. Lo and behold, this one is out, this one is out, this one is out. This one is completely stuck, it didn't move at all. That's a problem. So that piston is gonna need a lot of attention when we get to it. So for now, I'm gonna clean these three, then I'm gonna hold them in place, and I'm actually going to then try and free this piston up. Get that out and spend a particular amount of time cleaning that piston. The net result, well, when I apply the brake lever, all four pistons should come out. They should move at the same time. They'll move in varying degrees based on how much stiction you've got up between the piston and the seal, but they should all move. So you keep doing this until all four pistons move evenly. But doing that squeeze initially tells you where you need to focus your attention. So round two on the interior clean. Now I can get to the pistons and scrub those carefully. And again, don't be shy. Get in there. Get it clean as a toothbrush. Now we've managed to extract that third piston and get it to move. It's 
kind of a lot better to do it with two people to monitor the brake pressure carefully until you get this to move. It's very difficult doing it by yourself. But now that that's out, it can get a little bit more attention with the toothbrush. So we'll make sure that's scrubbed clean and then we'll reset all four pistons and then squeeze the lever and if all four move e evenly or certainly close to evenly, the brake caliper on the inside is done. Then we'll refit the pads. When you've finished, take the toothbrush to the exterior of the caliper as well. That too deserves equally as good a clean. Now with the interior of the caliper completely cleaned, we can go ahead and put our brake pads back in. Yeah, plenty of meat on those pads. Don't look at these and go, oh, those are thin and put it back in. Our life depends on this. So do other people around you. So if your pads are marginal, change them now. It's a perfect time to do it. Don't risk. Fortunately with these, they go straight back in by hand. You should know your caliper, which way it reassembles. If you have brake pins, make sure you clean those. Make sure they're nice and smooth. Don't grease them. You don't want grease attracting brake dust, which is corrosive. So just clean everything, put it back the way it came out. Once you're done with one caliper, switch over to the other side. Immobilize this caliper, as we showed you in the first video, and then go to work on the other side. Not too difficult really, just requires a bit of patience and a willingness to get somewhat dirty. Pad number one in. Pad number two in. All our interior is clean. Now I'm going to take a toothbrush to the outside and clean all of this so that we are completely done with this caliper before we move over there.